Hey everybody, Leo Farmer 73 here. And I'm glad this, in a way I'm kind of glad this happened to me, but it's good because it, it, it lets us know a good message. Um, You know, I'm not the, the smallest guy in the world, but I do go to the doctor regularly and I am fairly healthy. Like most Americans, I'm overweight, but that doesn't stop me from exercising. I'm gonna tell you this. You never know when you're gonna need to get your butt up and walk or run. And I'm not talking about the apocalypse. I'm not talking about a storm. I'm not talking about a hurricane. I'm talking about normal, everyday life what are you going to do if your car break down in the middle of nowhere now mind you my car didn't break down but it just brought this thought to my mind now my wife's car is in the shop she can't come get me so i need new tires on my jeep so what do i do i tell the guy um if he said he can get me in right now, as bad as I need tires on my Jeep, good Lord. He said, I can do it right now if, you know, if you can leave it. I said, well, I can leave it. He said, how long? I said, how long will it take? Oh, about two or three hours. Whoo! I'm not going to sit here for two or three hours. So I told him, listen, I just live about three or four miles up the road. And uh, yeah, I could have called an Uber. Yeah, I could have called a cab. But sometimes, family, ain't nothing wrong with walking. And that's why this brought this to my mind of, you don't know, that could have been an emergency that just happened to me. I'm choosing to walk right now. I don't got far to go. I got some water. I got some protection. But you can have all of that. And if you don't have uh, half decent health to get you walking, at least, at least everybody should be able to at least walk briskly for at least five miles. At the very least. So I know I can do that because we do it all the time. And it just brought it to my attention that, listen, Family, you need to do this every day. Go around, walk around the block. You don't need to buy no freaking gym equipment. You don't need to sign up at the gym. Because usually people that do that won't even walk around the block. Usually people that buy all that stuff won't even cut their own grass because it's too strenuous. And all you do is waste all that money. You buy all that stuff, then you turn around, you don't use it. Waste thousands of dollars. Memberships, barbells, equipment, all that garbage, treadmills, you ain't gonna use it. If you ain't gonna get out your house and walk around the block, you sure as hell ain't gonna get on no treadmill and jog five miles. So, Thank God, while I'm still physically able, young enough to pull it off, go for a walk, right? It don't always gotta be something crazy. It don't gotta be the apocalypse. It don't gotta be the end of the world. None of that. It could be something as simple as you having to walk for your life run for your life dog chasing you or you just stranded somewhere and I'm going to tell you right now you ask anybody in the military most of the time you sit still too long you good as dead and that's no matter what the situation you sit long you sit still 
long enough to come up with an idea, come up with a plan, and then you move. Ain't nothing different in this normal, real world with us civilians. You sitting down, wasting time, and you could have got something done or accomplished. Hell, I could be walking, and I might see somebody I know come and pick me up. But sitting off in some office, waiting for somebody else having control of my time and my situation, no good. This is a side note. By the way, they never got done with my Jeep. He said it was going to take two or three hours, and they came and find out it took them all day. I still don't have my truck. So I would have been sitting in that office all day for nothing. Waste of time. So, I say this, if you can walk and you can get some exercise and it ain't gonna hurt you none, family, take advantage of your God-given gift to just get out and be able to walk. Walk around the block. If you can't walk around the block, walk up and down your driveway. If you don't got no driveway, walk up and down your stairs and just keep doing that until, you know, you, you walked up and down your stairs once. Now maybe twice. Now you walking up and down your stairs so much, you wearing your stairs out, it's time to go outside. It's that simple, it's that easy. You gotta take that first step forward and just walk. It's literally that easy, family. But if you keep on saying, I'm gonna, I'm a gonna, king, I'm a bata, them is royalty and kings to nowhere and nothing because nothing ever get accomplished so i hope this helped you and i'm letting you know no i'm not stranded not in that sense uh but i chose to walk i chose to leave and say listen call me when it's done he said you sure you want me to call nobody for you no i'm i'm good man i said i don't live far from here you know Walk off some of that coffee I drank, that breakfast I ate, just walk it off. All right, hope you guys get out there and try to burn some calories, try something, because you never know when you're going to need your legs, you never know when you're going to need your muscles, you never know when you're going to need them lungs, you never know. You might be driving down the highway and your car just quit for no reason. What you gonna do? Nobody around. You ain't got no cell phone signal, nothing. The only option you got when you somewhere you can't get no cell phone signal and y'all know it happens, so don't act like it don't. Even in 2022, you're in the middle of nowhere, no cell phone signal. You, your only option is I gotta walk. The nearest building or the last building I saw back there was about five miles back. The question is, can you walk five miles back there to go try to find some help? That's the question I'm asking. If you say no, if your answer is no, you might want to change that. And this is how you do it. Hey, y'all, I told you when you're walking, you find everything. Check this out. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Start collecting up on your wood. Okay. I'm walking, getting my Jeep. My Jeep is in the shop and I'm walking home. But this is what I see. So I know that when I get done, I'm coming back, pick that up. Get my trailer on. I'm coming get that wood. This ain't a joke, man. This ain't a game. That's all. Just had to throw that in there. Lead Farmer 73. I love y'all. Get out and walk. And I'm out.